this is something that is being rammed down the throat of any intelligent person in the United States of America. You need a degree to be successful in life, which is essentially a bunch of bullshit because the scores of people who are making above average income, and average income is 46 grand a year. What that means is 50% of the people in this country make less than $46,000 a year. When you crank it up to 65,000, 75% of the people make less than that number. And when you get up to 100 grand, it's like 20% of the country makes more than that. Yet, roughly 35% of the people in this country hold a degree. This number's not adding up. And actually, actually I'm going to even break it down further. One of the things that you really need to understand, there is, for most degrees, no direct correlation between having a degree and income. Let me say that again, because people are going to like, that's not true. I've heard it. Even the president said it. You need a degree, higher education. It's just on and on and on. What you need are specific and marketable skill sets, which can be gained through earning a degree, or you can learn on your own through experience, apprenticeship, internship. Give you, an give you a great example. Take Silicon Valley, which has an average income of 75000 a year. Yet, only 15% of the people in that area have a degree. Why is that? Well, why is that? Because there's a tech area. Tech does not care if you have a degree or not. Tech cares if you can get the job done and solve problems. If you are some little grungy little kid in your basement that comes up with a new app, guess what? You could be making six to seven figures a year because you've solved a problem. You've created something better that makes people's lives better, easier, more fun, whatever. That's how you make money. Let's go back down to the degree myth. First of all, there's a few degrees that you have to have to do the job, such as being an attorney, a doctor, an engineer. There's certain training that you have to have for those fields. But how many fields are there like that? Seriously, when you just go through the catalog of college degrees, there's probably 50, maybe 60 fields where you absolutely have to have a degree. Like I said, you know, uh, nursing, say uh, chemistry. And what's really funny about that is if you're like Dean Carmen, you've heard of the guy. Oh, you know his name? He's the guy that invented the Segway. He did not finish school. He went in, got what he needed, and got out of school, excuse me, withdrew himself out of school, and started inventing shit and became a multimillionaire. And, you know, understand, this video is not saying that education is not valuable. Information is the most valuable commodity in the world. That There's no disagreement with that. My disagreement is the degree thing. It's leading a lot of people to pile on tons of unnecessary debt. If you're getting a degree in history, English, philosophy, and you're not going to law school, you could be in trouble. Once again, those type of degrees, and you're not going to be a teacher. Once again, you're in trouble because a lot of people don't understand. This is how you're paid. It's not how cute you are. It's not how great you are. Your pay is determined by how easy it is to replace you. Therefore, if you're easy to replace, your payment, your pay will be lower. If you're easy to replace, your pay will be significantly lower than if you are super rare. Case in point. General laborer, someone who's picking up trash. Anyone can do that. You're going to make eight, ten bucks an hour. Say you're an orthopedic surgeon, um, like a guy I know, Dr. Bush. 700000 to a million or more. Why? Tons of training, tons of expertise, and it takes a very long time to become an orthopedic surgeon. Undergrad, medical school, four to five year residency, a fellowship. That's a huge chunk of your life. And if you're good, the sky's the limit. But once again, I know people who, you know, this is one of the things I learned about, love, love about business. If you have a good business idea and you have the tenacity, the drive, and the intellect to make it work, you could be making a high, you know, five-figure salary to low six-figure salary within two to four years. 
which is the same amount of time it takes to get a degree. Also, just like a degree is not a sure path, having your own business is not a sure path. But in life, we take risk. But the big deal is, do not allow that to seize your mind to the point that I must get a degree, I must get a degree. Ask yourself this. If you're going to school, why am I going to school? And once I earn this degree, what's going to be the outcome? If you're like, I'm earning history and it's going to be real difficult for me to find a job. I mean, don't believe me. Check out the blogs of people who have 3.5s, 3.4s, serious GPAs, can't find a job because a GPA will not find you a job. That means that the curriculum that they gave you, you did well. Big whoop. I'm serious. There's a guy in India right now who's coming up with an email app. I'm sorry. He's coming up with a, a mobile phone app. And he's going to make more money in two years than you will in your whole freaking life. And he's in a village with a bowl outside. This is the world. You've got to, you've got to solve problems. Or you have to invent something. Or you have to build something. <laughs> this is a knowledge-based economy. That doesn't mean you have to have a degree. If there's certain things, you know, if you want to get one, go ahead. But go to community college. Pay cash as you go. And don't get in six-figure debt for a job, for a degree, that's only going to get you a five-figure job. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't when there's other avenues. There's uh, other ways, like myself. Uh, the job I did when I got out of the military I spent six months in a military MOS, and it got me a job just like that in a recession. I had the skills, I had the credentials, and I moved right on into the job. Whereas I had friends who had less stellar MOSs, and they struggled to find a job. The guys that were in Intel, crypto, medical MOSs, no problem. What is it? It's skill set, it's skill sets and experience. But I want you to do the research because many colleges know, you know, the so-called degree premium. It's a sleight of hand with data because if you pull the doctors out and the engineers and all of these high income degree professions and you just put in degree people with regular run of the mill jobs with high school grads with regular run of the mill jobs, there's not that much difference except the high school grad doesn't have the student loan debt load that the degree person does. Understand, you know, education is critical. You have to be able to learn new skills, new things going forward. That's just the way the world's going to be. But do not get caught up in the degree myth because there's so much documentation that it's not necessary to have a degree to make a lot of money. If that's your goal in life, if your goal in life is to be a studier of flowers and you want to be the best horticulturist in the world and you go to school and you get a master's and that's your goal, you're a success. But if your job, if your goal is now, if your goal is to go to college and make a million dollars a year, unless you choose the right degree, which is usually going to be a management consulting and you're going to have to go to B school. It is going to be Wall Street or somewhere like that. And only the cream of the crop is going to get those jobs. So if you're in a class of 150 and only the top 3%, that's 15 folks that are getting those jobs. So the other 135 or guess what? You're back to the regular shit like everyone else. Yet you just spent $150,000 for your master's degree. I'm telling you, it, it is sad. It is tragic, and it's leading our kids to do crazy stuff because I hear it. I need to get a degree. I need to get an education. I need to get an education. But what's missing is the specifics. You need a specific education to do a specific thing. Understand, there's a huge difference between making money and being a well-educated, very interesting, very well-read person. I know many people that fit that program, and they're all broke. I'm a, I'm a regular guy. But the thing is, I learned how the game is played. You know, you make money by serving people. 
not being by, served by people and saying how great you are. Doesn't cut it. All right, this is Glendon.